Hey everybody and welcome back to Nightbringers Watch. I am your host Falk and tonight we are going for a summer action in The Witcher. Um, we are still at the party of uh, Declan Luwarden, the wealthiest merchant of Vizimar. Ah, come on. Shut up. I think we need to talk to Triss. Excuse me, Geralt. I must speak with Luvarden. Vizima needs an aqueduct. I'm busy. Now. Okay, maybe not. I. Why has mysterious nobleman a circle around his feet? Oh, okay, everyone has. Nobleman, security guards. She's his most exquisite with a red huh. SS to sound. Oh hey, we can get into that room. Then let's see, there's a big big fat crate. A mysterious note. Hey, that's a quest item. A note written hastily in sloppy handwriting. And a foreign lands, a book. A tome describing a number of the world's regions, including the Nilfgaardian Empire, Zerikania, and Redania. Oh, what's happening? Why are you here? Huh? I, w I was looking for the privy. In that box? Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. Okay, so we got caught and now we, we need to drink. What do we have? Redanian herbal. Let's go with the Redanian herbal. Oh my god, why does everyone want to drink so bad? Lefkarlin lemon. Oh god damn it. We are totally drunk again. Uh, what's that diamond? How, how about we drink some diamond dust? A stupid idea. Stupid idea. Okay. Wealthy merchants gone. We still have to look in into the cabinet. Guys, gone. Let's read that note. Mysterious note. The cast was done according to the guidelines, and the craftsman is already gone for good. Make sure that all the other traces vanish. Nobody should be able to prove that we are responsible for the forgery or find a connection between me and your superior. You know what to do about the rest. P.S. Take care of the Witcher. Okay. I think since it gave us an entry about Thala that we really need to talk to him. Uh, it's also investigating an important case involving forgeries. Open the door. Let's see. Damn, are we drunk? Where's Thala? Ta Thala? 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 Excuse me, Geralt. I must speak with Luvardi. Okay, then let's talk to Edda. Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. <laughs> we may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? Nah, not really. Hmm. I am impressed by the comparison. Have you ever tried your hand at the fine arts, your highness? I am forced to study all kinds of nonsense, but books bore me. As does poetry for the most part. I agree. Books are for bores. Never mind. 
Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with full play, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Lilvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, okay. One is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. <clears throat> Excuse me, Your Highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. <laughs> well, you may be right, Your Highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. Uh... Not all men. I have no desire to meddle in politics, for instance. So what are you doing here, where everyone meddles and schemes? <laughs> I'm not sure I know. Hmm, you're right, princess. I'm trying to learn who's scheming and why. I knew it. You cannot fool me, Witcher. May I ask you a question? Go on. What is the king's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. Hmm. I shall return shortly, your highness. And what is it what she desires? Talk to Valorant about Anna's taste. Who was Valorant? And we should talk to Tana. Who's gone? Oh, we sub up. That's nice. Uh, the knight is still here, so Tana should not be that far away. There's Tala. Gerald. Huh. Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents, people of the shadows. Calm down. What's the dish? Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. And be discreet. But... Then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. How'd it go? Mmm... Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Catoblepus. What? Some time ago, this maniac, who looked a lot like you, arrived in Vizima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepas meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepas throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good whore. <sighs> How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepus, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Okay. Mm. Now let's talk to Villarat. I'm listening. Huh. What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. Throat's dry. And I don't see you. The party's just beginning. I'm listening. Good. We need to spend him some strong alcohol. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but I see. Anything else? Tala's angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents scour the realm to fetch her treats. Thanks. Yeah, we know that. 
Ah, I see. Charles. Thanks. So wait, what? Do we now need to talk again to Tala? Cat a cat a bloppers? Cat cut pluffies? How do you pronounce that and where the hell do you get it? I think I need a miracle or magic. Tris? <laughs> Meet for Anna. I need a miracle or magic. Okay. Tris, we need to talk. Geralt. Ah, this is important, Tris. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some catoblepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. Why do they all come if they dislike Louvarden? Okay. Catoblepus steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. What was that about? <laughs> Dude! Do you have something tasty for me? Huh. Steak tartare of Catoblepus. Raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. It is an honor to serve you, your highness. I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics. <laughs> and where's your alcove? Okay, uh, sorry. Don't wanna, wanna throw you the alcove. Anna invited me to visit her in her alcove. Uh... We're tracking a quest on the map. There's the dandelion's loot. And where's her alcove? Oh, oh. Look at all the Timerian rye. How could I miss that? Strong alcohol and potion base. Excuse me, Geralt. I must speak with Lugarda. Yeah, do that. Geralt. Anything new from you? No, nothing. I'm done playing your game. Oh well. Could talk to Erkin Blunt once more. But I think it would... Ah, uh, he would stay silent. Okay. We are here. Can, can we close the door? No? Can't close the door? Please, close, close the door. I think this... Oh, wait. We are, we are going to... You know... Finally, politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. As you command. I should think so. What is that politics? Uh... Yay! Something new to Sansar! Uh. Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer. One I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. Ah! I placed the sensors as you asked. I know. As soon as you did, I scanned all of Vizima and found the source of the anomaly. Where? A boy named Alvin at St. Lebioda's Hospital. How can a child be the source? You've forgotten everything. He must have immense powers. Elder blood must course through his veins. Elder blood? The gift of Lara. We need to rein in Alvin's destructive abilities. Hurry, fetch him from the hospital. I'll see what I can do. Will they let me take him? Not readily. Your friend Shani refuses to hand him over. 
She has no idea what the entire city faces if he spins out of control. I don't know how to talk to her. She's your friend. Settle it with her. I'd be grateful. One more thing. Elder blood attracts creatures from the beyond. Ghosts, inspectors. You might find this scroll useful. Okay. Something about that. Witcher. What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Lara Doran Epshiadal was no normal elf, more like a genetic bomb. She was to couple with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Lara fell in love with Kurgenin of Lod, a mage, a human. Lara and Kurgenin's children, known as those of Elderblood, proved hard to follow. Thus, the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. About my identity. Any progress? I'm still analyzing. Wow. Witcher. And not finding this party dull. Anything more interesting in mind? Um. At home, Geralt. At home. Okay, we know what that's about. Okay, nothing's in here. We had a private audience with the princess. She gone now. Geralt. Okay, nothing new here. Some have gone. Uh, a posh reception. I can now talk to the host in private. The reception's almost over. The guests are leaving. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Declan Luan, right. Mm. Yeah, let's talk to Declan then. Ah, I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? Huh. I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful. It's as we've heard. All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamandra. Our spies say there's a new Salamandra camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you. Ah, uh, received formula of white, what? White riffs? Ah, uh, not the journal. Formula for the Vries extract contains the formula for the Vries. Which makes it possible to spot invisible. Oh, okay. The release extract makes it possible to spot invisible opponents. Nice. And White Raffet's decoction contains a formula f uh, which restores lost vitality. Oh, that sounds awesome. We should prepare both. And we still have foreign lengths. Uh, mm, written by Marco Knopf. The Nithgardian Empire is gigantic. It was once but a single realm that went on to conquer neighboring lands and assimilate their populations. Today, all who hail from the south are called Nithgardians, though some take offense if they, uh, as they have sought to preserve their national identity. Nilfgaard is ruled by a tyrannical emperor. He tolerates no opposition and knows no pity. Some call him the white flame dancing on his enemy's barrows. His symbol and the empire's is a silver sun 
on a black background. It is worth noting that the female ruler of the Valley of Flowers, uh, the sole existing elven state, considers herself a vessel of the Emperor. This book adds a glossary entry. Okay. So there are many things we have to, to do. We need to get... Um, the boy back that we found in like one of the first episodes. Uh, Alvin. And we need to destroy Salamandra. Patrick de Weise. Ah. Yes. This guy. Do you know one Siegfried of Denail? Indeed. What news of him? He is due to be promoted. In fact, he possibly has been already. I don't know, we never speak. Can you tell me why? He is transformed since the swamp. I said to him, Honorable Siegfried, I congratulate you. Your honor and faith vanquished the pagan rabble. He gazed upon me strangely, saying, Honorable? Perhaps. Honor and faith? Certainly not. We were victorious, for they were hungry and poorly armed. A bit of blood, and he has forgotten all about honor. He should follow his father's example. Where can I find him? His father? Dead. Purportedly torn apart by a manticore. I meant Siegfried. He trains recruits in front of the Order's seat in the Temple Quarter. Okay. Uh, who was that Siegfried guy? Huh. You wanna fight? Greetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going... We're going to fight. Uh, if I can make money with fighting, I'll do that. Sure. Bring it on. You can't charge your fight. Uh, your your fist. Something's not going the way I want. Okay, it goes the way I want. Uh, and the way I want it is into the opponent's face. Good. You're not bad. Okay, uh, I'll pause for a moment if I can find some others. And uh, then I see you with a bag full of coins uh, in, in just a sec. Okay, we are back. And what is that? What's... Count the Wet and Thala. What is up about them? Back there with guardsmen and... Oh, so many guardsmen. Huh, okay. By the way, I didn't find any... Uh, one who wanted to fight. Sadly, for me. You will not get away with it. Witcher, reveal yourself as an honest man or a coward. What do you want, DeWitt? That scoundrel Taller. He refuses to abide by a royal edict. What edict? The royal edict bearing the very seal of our merciful ruler, Foltest, that strips him of his position. By the authority vested in me, etc., etc., Taller is hereby dismissed from his position as head of the Temerian Intelligence Service. And Taller objects? You're kidding. Yes. Show yourself a real patriot. Kill that pleb. Damn lies. The edict is a fake. This dickless, brainless, sellout zealot burns to see me eliminated. Silence, lice-ridden scab. You will hang, traitor. Geralt, bring me that pleb. He needn't be in one piece. Uh, I'll hear both sides. I'll hear both sides. You dare speak to me? Can we just go? Hey, what a nice advertisement! Schuttenbach Jewelers, where every ring is that special ring. Okay. Okay. You you see what I see? Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Taller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? 
How dare you accuse me, Mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Falter's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, DeWet. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never! You won't take me alive, you bastards! I'll hear both. That scoundrel should hang! A normal death would be too kind! Have you Tala's in for it? I'll hear La 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 I'm I'm just going. Oh So Tala dies. This Witcher, you dare speak. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea, but I must speak with you later. I need to do something. Fine, meet me at the new Narracord. Oh, <laughs> what? What the? You dare speak to me? Wait, can we also go in there? Hey, we can go in there. Well, it's bigger than I thought. I thought this to be some cozy tower. There's Count Duet, and hey, we can plunder that wardrobe. Or oh, we can't plunder it. Because only weapons. Oh, it's a cherry spirit. That's nice. These are strong. Alcohols we need for the better po uh, potions. <laughs> oh, where, where, where are we exactly? Oh, up here. Mm. House of the Queen of the Night. Hmm. Gate to the Temple Quarter Workshop. Triss's house. Why is Triss's house shrouded? That's something I do not understand. What is it, Witcher? Interested in anything besides politics? Impertinent question, but I'll answer. I enjoy poker as a mental exercise. Okay. That game. So I've heard. We could play sometime. I'll consider it. You'll hmm. find me here. Farewell. Okay, so he's not that pissed that we... Um... Freed... Tala, quote unquote. Um, then let's talk to Tala for now. Though I do not know what he wants. There he is. We meet again, Witcher. Worked out that way, I guess. I suppose I should thank you for saving my ass. I'm still not sure it was smart to tangle with Duet. Of course it was, provided you have Temeria's well-being at heart. What do you mean? There's something afoot. You forget I'm a simple witcher. It's like this. Before the king departed, he placed Vizima in my care. See? Seems authentic. During my absence, I entrust you with... I know you can read, witcher, but notice both the king's seal and his signature. I see. That isn't on the other edicts. A seal can be stolen, but a signature is difficult to forge. So the royal edicts are fakes? Exactly. Uh... Having... Actually, yes. Sadly, my code of conduct forbids me from using my position for private benefit. So you refuse to help? Wait a minute. What code? Not your business, Witcher. So he has a code. Oh, and we can gain a level. Nice. Um, 
Also, I, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!